probability of A intersection B is equal to probability of B into probability of A. The problem as such may not be asked in the exam, but the questions based on conditional event surely utilize this particular problem results. What is the problem? Problem is if A comma B are two independent events, independent events, then A bar comma B bar are independent that is the first one and the second one a bar comma b are independent third one a comma b bar are independent yes now the solution based upon the fact what is the fact and what is the rule the fact or rule is if A comma B are independent events, if A comma B are independent events, then probability of A intersection B is equal to probability of A into probability of B. If I prove this, this A and B become independent. Now, come to this part. A and, given, A and B are given to be independent given to be independent. So, probability of A intersection B is equal to probability of A into probability of B. Okay. Next, if A bar and B bar, probability of A bar intersection B bar. Probability of A bar intersection B bar, if I arrive at probability of A bar into probability of B bar, then they become independent events. Now, recollect, this is 1 minus probability of A union B. This is a very important result. Most often than not, is repeatedly used. This part I will illustrate once. This part. From there, we will get easily. This is A. This is B. A, B. And this is a sample space. When you are talking about A bar intersection B bar, this part will come. The entire part. A bar intersection B bar. This part. What I am shading there, that part will come. A bar intersection B bar. So, which is common to A, A complement as well as B complement is the part which I have drawn the horizontal lines. These are a bar intersection, B bar. If you observe, this is entire sample space, but A union B. So, A bar intersection B bar and A union B together will give you sample space. Now, if you are writing probability of A bar intersection B bar, union A union B, you will get probability of sample space. What is the probability of sample space? 1. So, these are disjoint events. Observe, A intersection B bar plus probability of A union B is equal to probability of S. So, probability of S is 1. So, probability of A bar intersection B bar is equal to 1 minus probability of 1 minus probability of A union B. So, this is nothing but 1 minus uh, 1 minus probability of A union B which I am using here. Now, here what you do? You utilize the addition theorem of probability. What does the addition theorem of probability say? Probability of A union B is nothing but probability of A minus probability of B plus probability of A intersection B. So, this uh, 1 minus probability of A minus probability of B plus probability of A, bar A into probability of B. How probability of A intersection B is becoming probability of A into probability of B because A and B are independent events. So, 1 minus probability of B, you write. In these two, you take probability of A common. Again, you will get probability of B. 
again pull out 1 minus probability of B, 1 minus probability of A. This is nothing but A bar comma probability of A bar into probability of B bar. That imply A bar comma B bar are two independent events. This is the first part over. Now we will come to the second part. What is the second part now? Probability of A bar intersection, probability of A bar intersection B. What is the probability of A bar intersection B? If this is A, this is B and uh, A bar intersection B is this. This is A bar intersection B. This is A bar intersection B. That is nothing but B minus A intersection B. Probability of. Probability of B minus A intersection B is probability of B minus probability of A intersection B. Why so? Because B for B, A intersection B is what? Subset. For B, A intersection B is subset. So, this is nothing but probability of B minus probability of A into probability of B. How this is coming around? This is coming around because of the independent events of A and B. So, again what we will take common? Probability of B common. Probability of 1 minus probability of B. B into probability of 1 minus probability of A. That becomes probability of A bar. So, this is coming around A bar intersection B is probability of B into probability of A bar. That imply A bar and B are independent. You are left with only one, last one. The last one is what? Probability of A intersection B bar. So, probability of what is, what is A intersection B bar? This is A intersection B bar. So, probability of A minus A intersection B. This is nothing but probability of A minus probability of A intersection B. Probability of A minus probability of A into probability of B. Pull out probability of A that is equal to 1 minus probability of B that is equal to probability of A into probability of B bar which proves this result A and B are independent. Dear students, this episode of Probability Topics is the additional theorem and conditional probability topic. In the next episode of Bales Theorem and Total Probability Theorem. In the next episode of this program, you will be able to learn more about these classes at kabtv.net. So, we will be able to learn more about this episode. Keep watching KABTV, AP's first educational channel.